what's up welcome back fam so we're gonna talk about mars through the houses i did mars through the signs and i linked them in the bio below so you guys can go ahead and check that out and see which mars sign that you have and now we're going to talk about it a little bit through the houses if you want me to go more in depth on each of the house like I did Mars through the signs then y'all let me know because I really love the Mars placement <laughs> because Mars is your spark it's your energy your drive the reason why you get out of bed the reason why you even ignited into this world initiated into this world it's the way that you go about things it's the way that you approach attack you know it's the way that you show up for yourself in the world I love Mars it's underrated okay it's also your sexual drive mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right so mars really it talks a lot about going for what you want unapologetically because mars is the only planet that orbits on its own its independent orbit okay it does its own thing mars is co-ruled in aries a fire sign cardinal and scorpio a water sign fixed all right so mars is interpreted in two different ways on two different levels two different octaves mm. so when any planet is with mars it's going to be agitated mars is like the younger brother it's the prince okay it's it's how you're impulsive, spontaneous, or it could be a lack thereof, right? If there's a retrograde Mars, which I'll do a video on later. So Mars is really, you know, why you even have lust for life. And if your Mars is not working properly, it's because you're, you're feeling like your, your, you know, your lust has been... Your fire has been doused and put down and put out. So that's why I really feel like Mars energy is necessary. And for all Mars energy, exercise is necessary. And in your sign, it will tell you which type of exercise you can do to really integrate and initiate this Mars energy and give it its rightful respect. Okay, because Mars deserves your attention. Mars is the gas in your Car. it's the way you're gonna get around in life so look at Mars look at the aspects look at the house look at the degrees look at the sign that it's in and it can tell you a lot about what you need so you, my bad so you can continue okay that's with Mars Mars is like that it interrupts <laughs> Okay, it's like a mini, it's like a mini Uranus because Uranus disrupts things and Mars just interrupts. It's the younger brother, okay? It's also representative of our boyfriends. Um, it's representative of the young men that we meet in our lives, okay? Or young masculine energy, preferably, all right? So Mars in the first house, listen, you finna fight for yourself, okay? You might have, I'm sure you've many fights <laughs> okay if they haven't been physical they've been verbal for sure um and obviously the sign here will tell you but you are very argumentative uh you can come off very aggressive you can come off you know just irritable and agitated but the thing is that you're powerful and <laughs> People don't like that about you. <laughs> it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like the power, your Mars, your power, your spark is right here on your face. It's it's right here in front. You know, people can see you straight up. They can see your spark. And a lot of people get jealous of that. They get envious because a lot of people are not working with a Mars energy. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, a lot of people are going to challenge you mars in the first house that's what you need to know people are always gonna want to throw a motherfucking gauntlet and want to duel with you and shit over some thing so the thing is you have to show up for yourself by showing the control that you have mm -hmm. literally it, it always it's always you're gonna feel attacked by life 
until you harness that power. Because remember, Aries, Mars is that baby Mars, okay? And it is what it is, Aries, is that baby Mars, that impulsive, aggressive, I'm gonna punch you in the motherfucking face before I ask you questions, okay? That's that energy. But Scorpio, Mars is that stealth, okay? That attack only when necessary type of energy. So when you have Mars in the first house, you really have to start to um, honor and respect the power that you have and that you are mirroring other people's perceived, you know, feelings of their own power. And so that's the energetic battle that you're going to continue to have until you start to say, you know what, I'm good on all that. You don't run me. I I, ha I hold my own power. Like I'm good on all that, because uh, Mars in the first house is is a very very like walking on landmines type of experience. Okay, it's very much walking on landmines. It's you know you guys almost then you know attach yourself to the identity that you are argumentative and aggressive and stuff like that, which I don't believe. I just think you guys are mostly powerful. Mm. you need to direct that power back to yourself all right mars in the first mars in the second you're obsessed with you know money and getting things and holding on to things or you're obsessed with giving things away it depends on which sign is out here but most of the time this has a lot of stuff to this has a lot to do with you know um owning things and <clears throat> Mars in the second is interesting because any planets in the second house is very interesting because it's a Taurus house, right? And this can cause greed. All right, because Mars is I don't give a fuck. So I'm going to go get what I want. All right, and if you have, you know, other planets there that are the same of that same energy, then you're finna do that. You know, Mars in the second is they're, you're very driven to get what you want. You have a goal. You're going to get it. Nothing is going to stop you. You know, nothing will stop you. Mars there is relentless to get what they want. They will, you know, hit at the right time. So Mars in the second, you know, is really about proving your self-worth, proving that you can have you know, this, that, and the third, the material wealth, the this gain, that gain, whatever it may be, you know. And sometimes it, it might be material wealth or relationships. Like if there's Libra there, it might be relationships. Like you might just be going from relationship to relationship to relationship to relationship. Don't even realize that you're just trying to collect relationships or collect people, you know. And that's also another thing. It's it, it, your power, you feel, comes from owning something but see the second house is about self ownership self mm -hmm. Taurus energy is about you okay so that's what you have to focus on with Mars in the, in the second you have to have dominance over your body all right especially if you have different placements here you could be giving your body out a lot you know what I'm saying and, and not really understanding why you're doing it so this is really building your self-esteem because your independence, your identity comes from your second house. It comes from your family values. So especially if your family values were disrupted here, if you had weird and distorted images of, you know, love and care, you know, this placement can also be aggressive, physically aggressive, physically dominant, you know. Um, so definitely this is why working out is such a necessary thing. Mars needs that because Mars is the part of us that doesn't give a fuck, okay? And if it's in certain houses, then um, it really doesn't, you know? And in the second house, you're going to get what you want. You're going to get what you need. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're going to get what you need to survive, to feel secure. It is what it is. I said what I said. I did what I did. You know, that's what that energy is. And so it definitely depends on the aspects, right? Certain aspects can soften this energy and make it like, okay, I'm going for my dreams and this is relentless. Other aspects can harden this and saying, I'm going to take what I want, right? Um, Mars in the second makes you get up and stay inspired by, you know, the practical things in life, by 
by the things that you love, by, you know, luxury. That's like that feeling. And um, this could be for your senses. This could be from your pocket, okay? This could be anything. So Mars in the second definitely could have like eating issues too. Um, you know, uh, depending on what sign is here, could have definitely issues with drugs, alcohol, stuff like that, because this, it rules the throat. Hmm. Okay. So Mars in the third, argumentative. All right. Um, always trying to prove, <laughs> always trying to prove your point. Always trying to, um, you know, kind of throw a wrench into the situation you know what i'm saying and like throw a little bomb like oh that's what you believe that's what you think that's what you think okay here you go boom you know mars in the third is you i'm sure you used to be all over your neighborhood just like dark 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 like all over the place like in the bodega down the street at the park like over here over there you know it would gemini there you was on your bike and stuff just all up and down the neighborhood just all busybody like mars in the third is a busybody this person is always uh <laughs> you know um running with their cousins running with their aunts and uncles they they you know uh their friends like you could definitely get in fights with your friends, arguments with your friends, little bickers with your friends, things like that. Always trying to prove your, you know, your point. That's what you're trying to do. You're always trying to look to prove your point. You know what I'm saying? You're always trying to defend the way that you think and the way that you communicate. Um, you can also communicate very harsh, straight to the point, you know, like a knife, just like, shh. <laughs> like, eh, like, okay, we're going to cut all that off. Like it is what it is. That Mars energy, all right? Mars is like, nah, we, we good on all that. Like, you gotta just, it's short, you know, to the point. Um, you can come off very, and especially if there's, let's say if there's an earth sign there, you could just come off super dry, super to the point, and really not try to waste your breath, your time. But then if you have an air sign there, you could be talking a lot of shit, like hella shit, you know? Um, you know, but this is with that Mars, Mars energy there. Also, you probably are a ferocious like reader or you start a lot of li little hobbies and then you don't finish any of them kind of thing, depending on which placement is here. But a lot of times you don't finish them. Like you'll start like knitting and then you'll start sewing and then you'll start like building something and then you'll start, you know, wor working at a, um, at a pet shelter and then you'll work at the library and then you'll like, you'll do different stuff like that, or especially around the neighborhood, around the house, like things like that. Okay. Um, you are very driven by the way that you express your thoughts, you know, express your ideas, your concepts, your perspective. Um, you like to, uh, depending on what's here, but most of the times you like to stay pretty, uh, you know, to your viewpoint and you're like, mm -hmm. this is just what I think, you know, that's just how I feel. That's just what I, especially if there's a water sign, it's just how I feel about it. But it's just what I think. That's just my thought. That's just, it is what it is. And, um, you know, because the third house is more of your internal thoughts, right? It's more of your, your own way of building your own ideas. So you like to attack and poke at other people's ideas, but you hate when people poke at yours, you feel you take it very personal when people start when people start to question what you think, you know, how you express yourself, things like that. You you but you know, after a while you guys learn how to be like quick with your words. Like you y'all know how to that verbal banter is on point. Okay, these people are whew, with their words. Like I feel like it's words with fire wrapped around them with knives, like Okay, you guys become very quick. I can see this person becoming like an auctioneer. <laughs> That's the type of shit that they got. So Mars in the fourth is, you know, this placement is, I'm pretty sure really fucking annoying because most of the times it was on the light side, it was, you know, a bunch of athletes in the house and you guys were very competitive with each other. You know what I'm saying? But on like the heavy side, very aggressive fights in the house loud literally fighting for your life in the home because the fourth house is the home so either you saw your mother fighting for your life or you were fighting for your life you know against your family you felt like you were always at war you felt like 
like home was never comfortable for you you know it's it's and this makes your internal world really really disrupting and just it's always welling you know what i'm saying it's always moving and it's just it's never quite still because mars in the fourth makes you feel like you have to be on high alert you're very paranoid in your house you know what i'm saying like you're a type of person like you probably like check your doors 18 times you know make sure everything is good because you've been through some shit mars here is also just um you might move around a lot and like leave places i could see you guys leave like going to a place setting it up and then just being like nah i gotta go especially if you feel some type of way you have a water sign here you're like nah i'm about to i'm about to leave and a lot of you have to live alone if you're not living alone you probably love to live alone because you just feel that you can't live with anybody else you know because a lot of times you guys were so busy fighting that you don't even know who you are you know you don't even know the other parts of yourself so mars in the fourth is is definitely a soldier placement y'all um you know it's a hard one but you guys can get through it it's it's very very difficult it's not it's not for the lighthearted, and you need a lot of support that's why a lot of you are driven to go to work and have a career and be out in the world and be like yeah a lot of y'all want to you know stay single or be in just different kind of relationships where you're like nah it's a, it's cool like <laughs> i can see y'all definitely even if you were married i could see y'all like either living in different apartments living in different spaces things like that and just having some space because you're just like nah i need to i need to be by myself you know what i'm saying um for a while and then you'll go to your career and spend time up there you know in the 10th house because all your energy is is like now it's it's too much in the fourth a lot of mars in the fourth don't want to deal with home issues with family issues you know and and some of you don't uh, some of you shouldn't have to honestly so mars in the fourth but you guys would be great at uh real estate great at just um really finding land and plotting land things like that great at fighting for families to stay together you know um and and one day you might be inspired to start a family for real. Like somebody might come and hit that Mars and you'd be like, hold on a second. You know what I'm saying? They might, they might tell you like, hold on a second. Maybe I can do this. You know, you'd be like one kid though, one kid. <laughs> all right. Um, Mars on the fifth. Now Mars on the fifth is first of all, y'all very, um, love to change your look. Most of the time, love to change, you know, you're very creative. You're a person that really goes out there and uh, very curious, okay, uh, about self-expression. And this curiosity sometimes, you know, it's, it's not even curiosity. It's just you can be very aggressive when it comes to to, to finding it, you know. Um, it's the warrior, like I said. It's it's the, the person who's going to definitely do shit their way. So... Mars here, depending on which sign it's in, could also be a very difficult placement because, you know, this could just, your dating life could just be very fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Your dating life could just be very aggressive, very, yeah, very, uh, or very quick to say the least. You just feel like you can never hold on to a relationship kind of thing. Um, you know, you could also go through a phase where you're just having a lot of sex where you're just just having so much sex because you don't even know what's going on for real so you just feel like you have to express this mars energy through that because the fifth house is everything creative right it's everything from our books to our children so you can be creating mu music and stuff like that but a lot of people don't know if they have mars in the fifth so they have these urges to create and a lot of times it translates and manifests into sexual experiences right and if you have different sign they're like pisces this could be drugs right and and narcotics and escaping and doing all that kind of stuff and having wild nights out and like you know binging and all that kind of stuff because the fifth house is about gambling and this is you know you make some risky motherfucking moves let me tell you when it comes to your fun shit you make some risky moves and this can go from like some lighthearted shit to you know from skydiving all the way to gambling all the money away that you've been saving you know what i'm type of type of shit like that kind of thing with mars here so i would really suggest stay away from gambling because it, be, it can become addictive um you know really start because the fifth house is about self-care okay and not even just self-care matter of fact let me take that back it's about self-love because the sixth house is about self-care so the the fifth house is about discovering self-love in your own identity and so the thing is 
your identity comes through your creativity. And I promise you, if you start doing more creative stuff, you're going to actually use your energy much more in a useful way than um, giving it away, you know, and using it out in the world. It's like if you if you really harness that energy, you know what I'm saying? You could really show people and really inspire people through through fifth house things through entertainment through sports like these people make amazing athletes you know what i'm saying um, amazing dancers things like that aerialists okay people who really know how to ha preserve that energy so make sure that you're using your fifth house energy in the right way because it's tricky any planets in the fifth house is tricky because fifth house just wants to party and have motherfucking fun okay there's no responsibility there so that's that's what you know we got to keep in mind now the sixth house um i'm trying to think if i want to say anything else about the fifth house i feel like there's so much more to say honestly i'll do a longer video so the sixth house listen you can work out like way too much you know um like you could be so overly in control of your food and how you eat and your hygiene and all that kind of stuff this is mars in the six you know like this can make you a very cleanly person and a very organized person like you probably clean everything and put everything in order and all that kind of stuff you know you you're very good at that you're very you have you know the the containers with the grains and the fruit and the you know the herbs and you you're really holistic most of the time all right um you're really a person that's driven to take care of your body, your health, your hygiene. You probably go through a lot of different diets, fads. You find different things to try to really see what feels good for you and what you really like, you know. Because the interesting thing is um, with six house placements, again, another another interesting thing because it's self-care, right? And if there's too much energy here, then we can be too exer exerting that energy. This makes you very restless. And you can also be very judgmental and critical over your body and how you look and how you feel and all those kind of things. And, you know, um, especially if you have Neptune hitting it, then you'll they have some kind of body dysmorphia and you think that you look like what you don't really look like, you know, because Mars here exacerbates our digestive system. So you can definitely have digestive issues and things like that. And I'll make more videos on um, medical astrology. Don't worry, I'm going to bring that to you guys definitely uh this year because the sixth house is really important and our health is really important and i have three planets there okay so i really understand i have so many transformations that i went through the sixth house is really about a lot of health transformations hygiene transformations you can have a lot of accidents okay you can definitely have a lot of arguments with people that you work with when you have mars here because mars is Mars is like, you know, your drive and you can be very, very driven to be first at work and things like that. And people, even if you're a quiet person, people will still feel agitated by your energy because like I said, Mars is your power. And so you have a lot of power over how you look, how you talk, how you act. Like you're one of those people who's probably just like very like, you know, no, I'm going to very much control myself, control my behavior, control how I look, all that kind of stuff. It's very hard for you to kind of like chill in that area of your life. It's kind of hard for you not to have it perfect um all the time and you know this is where like ocd and all that kind of stuff can come in because you could just be very controlling but this can also make you a person who's just extremely organized okay a person who's really um disciplined and can get things done but also a person who who ne doesn't necessarily follow projects all the way through you know because mars is here so mars is just as much as your interest and your passion takes you and your desire takes you okay that's what it is now saturn is different saturn is like no we're gonna get this shit done you have to be here you have to work it is what it is you know mars is is uh, no like i'm gonna do this until i don't feel like doing this <laughs> anymore until i don't care right because like, like i said mars is all about independence so mars here is like a, a plethora of things but it's definitely um you have to learn how to just exercise a little bit and let it go and also learn how to rest because you know um you guys probably do way too much to your to your physical health to your body and you're just too kind of focused in that area of your life to doing too much very judgmental so this is when you guys you guys need to take more naps you guys need to meditate more and learn how to rest rest is the 12th house you need to honor the 12th house okay like it's really really important because you guys are very hypercritical and uh you're just really hard on yourselves 
you're just really hard on yourselves and it almost feels like you can never get it right. So very complicated, um, complex house, the sixth house, okay? So now Mars in the seventh, you're gonna fight a lot with your people in your relationships. Um, hold on, let me go back to Mars in the sixth. I wanna say some good stuff about Mars in the sixth because <laughs> we were like, did you say anything good? Did I say anything good? I don't know, who knows? Um, Mars in the six, you guys, you guys motherfucking can see everything, okay? Like, you can feel when motherfuckers are lying. Let me tell you, that, that, that intuition is sharp. Let me say, let me tell you, let me tell you right now. Like, these motherfuckers, like, they will know. Mars in the six, they know. They know, they just know. They feel it in their gut. It's, so, it's like almost a sharp pain when people are lying to them or being, you know, manipulative, whatever the case may be. You could feel it in your stomach. Like, you guys' intuition is crazy. You guys' leadership at, at work is really crazy. It's inspiring. Like, you really be outrunning niggas at, at work. You run circles around them. You be paying attention to detail. Y'all motherfuckers be looking sharp, 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 sharp. You know what I'm saying? Making sure that yeah, you guys are good. Making sure you guys know the latest perfumes, the latest colognes you know what i'm saying things like that so mars in the six okay is that that's why that's what all the good thing is these motherfuckers is, they fashion forward honey we're gonna do a fashion video too don't get me started i have so much content coming i'm so excited okay so mars in the seventh you guys argue in your relationships a lot it's like you always have to prove a point you know what i'm saying be careful with this the thing is you put a lot of energy into other people okay because you're creating self-awareness through um <laughs> actually other people and arguing with them i i know it sounds crazy but you're creating your self-awareness and stuff like that by getting into a, a place where you have to assert yourself and assert your dominance and assert your power and assert who you are with another person it's like it's almost like a mirror exercise you know what i'm saying it's that you guys forever need a person to have that mirror with but no one to pick your fights no one to pick your battles this is that this, i'm pretty sure somebody with this placement made that quote or something here like aries here or something because no one to pick your battles this is definitely that kind of thing you guys always want to make sure everything is fair and everything is just and everything like that but you have to realize that people are living in their own world okay like especially with astrology now that you're really understanding this energy you're starting to see like damn like nah people are really like they really be doing that and the thing is you'll fight for other people way more than you will fight for yourself and you're gonna have to really figure out in relationships this is why you have volatile relationships a lot of times you come into situations where there's violence in your relationships there's heated heated arguments and aggressive behavior you know what i'm saying because this is young 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 aries energy you know when aries becomes um high vibrational aries is an inspiration okay aries be let's go let's make it happen let's do it like i'm the leader i'm the pioneer aries is like uh, you know this is when you and your boo your boo will say okay baby let's go let's wake up let's go let's let's make it happen like we're gonna go and and get your business we're gonna go out here and make it happen this person is gonna push you and motivate you to go where you want to go they're not gonna push you and challenge you into a duel because the thing is when you have mars in the seventh a lot of times you're taking you're taking a lot of time to trying to get to know yourself because you don't really get to know yourself. You don't know how to assert yourself. And you feel a lot of times you have to fight with other people to assert yourself, okay? And assert your identity, assert who you are. This makes you very, first of all, these make great lawyers, okay? People who go out probably and um, protest and, and really fight for people's human rights, social workers, things like that. These people will not let up. So make sure you're putting your passion into the right area. You know what I'm saying? That Mars in the seventh, make sure you're really going ahead and using that energy and fighting for people who need you to fight for them, right? Don't fight with people who don't, who are not willing to listen to you. Because there's people like that in life. There's just people out here that are not willing to listen to you. So why wasting your fucking energy? Mars is your energy. It's your gas in your tank. Stop wasting your gas on motherfuckers who don't matter. Okay? You really, really got to do what's right for you. Uh, get into duels and arguments or whatever the case may be. That that you know you're going to get a, a good ROI. You're going to get a good return on investment. Like, hmm, this person is smarter than me. Maybe I want to I wanna get into this. And debate you know what i'm saying debates are healthy i'm tired of people acting like debates are not healthy debates are what stretch the mind baby like we, we're trying to stretch each other okay so don't see mars in the seventh as people as your opponent all the time like 
people are not out to get you. You very paranoid, you know, um, because maybe at first it was like that because we, you were young and you didn't know the energy and now you're getting to know the energy and now you're, you're knowing that like, no, I have to assert myself. I have to really stand up for myself in these situations when I'm with other people and I really have to do what makes me feel good and makes me independent of this person. Take actions independent of other people. Don't worry about what other motherfuckers are doing. Do it for you. Okay, because at the end of the day, people are doing it for them, especially when you have Mars in the seventh, honey. Right? Don't you keep seeing that? <laughs> All right, now Mars in the eighth. Wait, hold on. Did I say something? I said good shit, right? Mars in the seventh. Yo, you will fight for your friends, let me tell you. You will fight for your friends. You guys are incredible um, um, social people. Like, you guys are so much fun at a party. You guys know how to meet people. I would definitely take you out to a party, honey. Mars in the seventh. Okay, you know how to really personalize things. Okay, you guys make probably great managers. You know, uh, people who deal with people one on one. These are this great placement to do that because you are really focused on creating personal interpersonal relationships. So create personal relationships that matter. Personal relationships where people um, see you as inspiring and don't see you as aggressive and see you as hot headed. You know what I'm saying? Even though if you are, you know, get with people who hear your message. You know what I'm saying? People who have a lot of Mars energy. And a lot of fire energy, you know, usually get really frustrated with people who try to uh, put out their flame. Well, fuck that. Shine bright. Okay. You have fire energy. Fire in the seventh gives you, you know, you talk a lot of shit. You know how to talk your shit. <laughs> okay. This is uh, Mars in the third too. Mars in, the, uh, Mars in the seventh, Mars in the third. You know how to talk your shit. Y'all really, really know how to say what you want to say. So really use it to your advantage use it to your advantage don't use it to your disadvantage stop getting in fights with people who don't motherfucking matter okay mars in the eighth now this is a really interesting placement you guys are really stealthy okay very sneaky people y'all do a lot of things behind the scenes you guys keep a lot of secrets you guys really um do a lot of things independently behind the scenes behind other people's backs it's like and I, not even behind other people's backs it's just because you enjoy your privacy so much you enjoy doing things by yourself because you've had to learn how to do things by yourself because you know um you've had to learn how to live in the dark that's really what it is for you guys and you you guys are really used to just being independent of what everybody else is up to like you really don't care to really share what you're doing and how you're moving and what you think you're doing uh, what you what you're doing um you're very driven y'all be looking at other people's bags a lot and seeing how people make their money things like that because mars in the eighth you know eighth house is other the uh, other people's money you're obsessed with how other people do it you know you're, you you want to know how other people are figuring out which can also make you very financially savvy financially fast you know um really knowing how to get money from other people <laughs> straight up point blank period uh depending on what sign here you know this con artist energy okay like it, like it is what it is you really can uh, soup, 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 soup some money from somebody if you have this kind of energy because mars like i said is independent it does whatever it wants to do it's it's on its own time i don't care what you said i don't care what you want to do mars is comfortable in the eighth it's comfortable in the first it's heightened energy there okay so this gives you that kind of um vibe also people even if you don't come off even if you're not doing this you can come off sneaky people looking at you sideways they're questioning you they always want to know what secrets you're hiding they want to know what you know that other people don't know you know what i'm saying when mars is in the eighth you like to also bring people into the darkness just for a short time you know what i'm saying you like to like shock people and trigger people into their own darkness and into their own secrets and stuff like that and agitate people um into a, a uh, <laughs> into a space of of nah son you better you better tell me what you got give me what you got that's what this kind of this energy is like give me what you got like whisper like give me what tell me right now type of thing that's really how i think about this energy now um mars in the eighth th these people make amazing like private investigators people who <laughs> you want somebody to crack a phone open 
get a Mars in the eighth, okay? <laughs> these people could be probably phenomenal hackers, all right? These are these are people who are doing shit in the background, let me tell you right now. People, these are phenomenal documentarians. These are people who really probably go out on the street and, and get the crazy wild shots, okay? These are the EMT workers. These are the psychologists. These are the people who are living the wild lifestyle and and meaning that they're really dealing with the shadow side they're dealing with the darkness the depths they have a lot of courage a lot of um energy and drive for that a lot of sexual energy honey okay now the eighth house is not necessarily just sex but it's intimacy in my opinion the eighth house is how we intimately merge with somebody and create a new chemistry and a new idea and a new new phase in our life you know what i'm saying and the mars is our sex so these are people who are highly highly like sexually motivated um whatever is there <laughs> okay this is this is their button this is what they do now uh, they also the eighth house is a crisis house so these people are amazing at crisis okay these are people really know how to react in a situation things like that they know how to go through things because they've been through things that's the other version of mars in the eighth house and we'll do longer videos on this as well now mars in the ninth house mars in the ninth house is fight for your motherfucking beliefs okay fight for what you believe in fight fight for your ideas your vision fighting for your long-term vision and how you're gonna get there fighting for um you know wanting to travel wanting to know people from other cultures know people from around the world these are people who are really you know trying to find their philosophy trying to find their own formulation of how they are going to be integral and moral in this life okay mars here is these people do what they say and say what they do they live by the life that they preach right these are not and and this is any lifestyle so it depends on which sign is here and what is aspecting mars which degrees and all that right because mars is independent action and the ninth house is your own law this is the law that you're formulating because the tenth house is your system finally you right um one of your system houses the ninth house is the laws that you're creating for the system that you're about to build so if you have mars here this is how you take action is your spark is what gets you up during the day it's um how you formulate your identity how you prove yourself the gas in your car it's your beliefs so whatever you believe you ain't finna let it go and that's just that on that you might try to force it on motherfuckers and try to force what you believe on other people or this is how my other people might feel they might feel that you're righteous they might feel like you're just coming off as um self-knowing and all-knowing and all this kind of stuff like you're you know i believe what i believe this is what these people i, I said what i motherfucking said like i don't care what i don't care how you feel these people do not necessarily go with the crowd you know they 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 most likely will stand up for what they believe in and say what they say and, and even if they don't say what they say they felt what they felt <laughs> and they will long-term stand that way mars in the ninth is going to fight for how they really you know want to interact with the world how they want to give out their knowledge to the world these people really want the world to know this these are the things that i know these are the things that i stand for these are the things that um these are, the, are my own principles right and this is what that mars in the ninth house is a lot of these times these people become teachers things like that right make sure you don't force your beliefs on anybody else only talk to people who who, who want to talk to you and it is what it is all right because these people can become extremely dogmatic they can um you know like i said try to force what you say on other people ninth house people are definitely people who are outside rioting shit like that because they're they finna they finna they say oh no burn all this shit down that's that ninth house energy like no my belief system is what matters the most so be careful with that part of it all right now mars in the 10th mars in the 10th is the highest point of where mars could be in the chart and you know it's an interesting placement you could have definitely had an interesting relationship with your father an aggressive relationship with your father this is mars in the ninth house too if you're doing vedic 
you definitely could be having fights with your um, father, your teachers when you have Mar Mars in the ninth house, okay? Or you be challenged by your teachers or you challenge your school, stuff like that. It's always going on with this. But now at Mars in the 10th house is you challenge your uh, boss, okay, at your job. Um, you want to be first, okay, with Mars here. You need to be in a leadership position. You need to be respected and have your own authority because this is what you're pushing out anyway. People see you as aggressive as work. They might see you as argumentative. They might see you as um, powerful. They might see you as, depending on what sign is here, sneaky. They might see you as a person who is um, kind of vindictive or vengeful at work or ruthless because Mars in the 10th can give you kind of a ruthless feel. Like, I just, I'm going to do what I want to do because I feel like I'm doing it, point blank, period. And I want to be on top. I want to be seen at any cost. I don't care, right? Um, and it's all about your passion, your desire, and and really what motivates you to even be alive and what motivates you is 10th house activities which is your career your status getting the accolades getting your name somewhere getting your name on in lights right fame of being known in the world this is mars in the 10th house um really being known wherever you are at right um taking over at work being seen as independent at your job you might really spend a lot of time at your job and if you if you're not <laughs> if you're not feeling like you're the leader at your job you're going to force that at your at your home okay you're really going to force that at your home you're going to come off really aggressive at your at your with your family with people who love you and because you at work what you do you need to do is find a challenge at work and not feel like you're challenged by work you know, um, create a challenge for yourself and challenge yourself for yourself because Mars in the 10th is you identify yourself with your work. So this could definitely be hard for people who go through transitions and go through changes at their job. You don't realize there's evolutions when it comes to your, you know, who you are in the world and what you're trying to give. And Mars in the 10th is you're trying to give yourself to the world, your passions, your desires to the world. Uh, and just make sure that you're staying flexible because Mars here is just very driven, very cutthroat, okay? Um, really not caring about anybody else and that's just Mars here. Now, this means that you're always going to have a job. You're always going to find a way to make money. You're always going to find a way to get to the top of your job. You somehow always get a promotion, okay? And even if you don't try, you get a promotion and people get jealous of you, shit like that. That's Mars in the 10th. It's almost like you didn't try to even do it, but people see you as a leader. They feel you, you're that you are a leader. So the way that um, you can really look at your Mars energy and balance it out is look at where your, Lib um, your Libra, your Taurus, and your Venus is and make sure you're really activating that energy in your chart too so other people at work feel included and in that you're not singling yourself out, okay? That you make people feel like, your team but this is why a lot of these people need to own their own business be you know in the leadership position management position ceo position when you have mars in the 10th mars in the 11th hmm okay let's talk about it mars in the 11th is an interesting energy okay you probably have an interesting friend group okay people who are very fiery by nature but for some reason you guys always fight argue very competitive with your friends. Um, if it's not in a healthy way, this is in a way that could be very aggressive, right? So if like Leo's here or Libra's here and you're competitive with your looks, your image, you know, you wanna shine. It's like that mean girls type of vibe, like, oh, I wanna be first kind, kind of energy, right? Mars in the 11th is you want to stand out in the group. Like, okay, the group is cool, bitch, but where's my stage? Like, where is it for me, right? It's kind of um, that energy of, um, you use groups to stand out. So you use groups to identify yourself, to get your courage, to get your bravery and things like that, right? Um, this is that low vibrational side. This is when we're younger, all right? Because you have to learn through that. There's this, this is why there can create a lot of hypertension, a lot of jealousy within the friend group, a lot of competition, a lot of, you know, just feeling like you're, you always got to look out behind your back when you're around your friends type shit. And maybe you do in the beginning because it's low vibrational, like I said. But as you go, grow older, you're going to see that you're going to start being around people who inspire you. Your friend groups are going to be leaders, pioneers, inspirational.
right? Um, because when it's young, like I said, you're, you know, you could be around people who are sneaky or you're just, or it's like you're more sneaky around your friends. You know what I'm saying? When you have Mars in the 11th, it's like you're more aggressive or competitive when you're around your friend group. Your Mars energy just might present itself more when you're around your friend group. So make sure that you're just doing it in a healthy way, right? If you want to be aggressive or competitive with your friends, just do like a football game every week or, you know, skateboard every week or do whatever. All right, work out together, stuff like that. That's how. That's where you can put in that competitive energy within your friend group because you're gonna need your friend group. You know, everybody needs their 11th house and you, that's also your hopes and your dreams. So you can definitely have, you know, you're, first of all, you're driven overall. You're just a driven person, you're progressive. You're like, okay, I'm going to go for what I'm gonna go for, point blank period. But this can also make you like low-key, like a social climber, a person who uses other people to your benefit so you can get to where you wanna get to. Right. And because Mars is just independent, I'm going to do what I want to do. It is what it is. It's ruthless energy. So I'm going to do what I feel like doing for me. But then on the other high vibrational side, it's like you're going to start to stand up for groups and then you can be independent um, of the groups in a way that's like, OK, I'm going to lead this group to this dope ass experience. OK, in that way, you can show your leadership or independence within that group. Or you can also fight for groups. You can also be a philanthropist, you know, a uh, humanitarian, things like that. You could put that energy over there where you want to be first. You want to be, you want to lead stuff. This also can give you the energy of, you know, a, pr a promoter. <laughs> like a promoter, a person who's really on, on the internet and social media. Or you can really fight on the internet and stuff like that too. You know, because you're always trying to prove who you are when you're in the group. You're always trying to show your identity, show who you are, or you feel like you're most seen when you're in the group, or you feel like you could see yourself most when you're around other people. Now, the good thing is that you can spot out groups. You know what I'm saying? You can literally uh, be like, okay, we can go over there, over here, whatever the case may be. You're very quick. You know, you talk to people. You're very social. You're very open to ideas. You know what I'm saying? But... Like I said, Mars here in the 11th house. The 11th house is already an air house. It's detached. So Mars really doesn't give a shit. Um, make sure you're using your Mars energy in the right way. If you feel yourself getting detached in any kind of way from your friend group, try to invite them to a situation where you guys are doing something together. Um, competitive, you know what I'm saying? Or you can go to a community and build a house for somebody and use that Mars energy because Mars is pro producing things. So you could produce something for a community that really needs it and uh, appreciates it, you know, things like that. And that's where you can really help formulate an identity for yourself instead of just, you know, at the club fighting with your friends, trying to prove your point. <laughs> That kind of thing. All right, so lastly, Mars in the 12th. Mars in the 12th. Um, everything in the 12th house is delayed, right? It's delayed energy, it's delayed reactions, it's delayed passions, delayed desires, delayed, just delayed. It's just, it's delayed. You feel like you're not seen by people. You feel like you're truly not seen by people. You feel as if you fade into the background, right? This is that kind of Mars energy. So you find a lot of solace in being alone and you're secretly really angry and have a lot of rage behind closed doors. You know, that's that Mars in the 12th. You hide your identity. That's really what it is. There's a big piece of you that you're hiding from people with Mars in the 12th. So it's a very spiritual position. Any planet in the 12th is a spiritual way to go in life. You really have to spend a lot of time alone. This is deep meditations. Um, and I don't mean deep, long meditations, but deep meditations because Mars is quick. So this could be 20, 25 minutes, things like that, which is not that long. Okay. So Mars in the 12th, if you really want to get this energy and, and really discover your passions, work out before you go to bed because this really can help that energy come out and you can dream it out. Things like that. Mars in the 12th can definitely agitate your sleep. It can have you, you know, off a little bit doing things in, behind closed doors that you will never, ever tell anybody about ever in your life. Mars in the 12th, people have done shit they, that are unspeakable, unspeakable things. Um, that they'll never talk about. You know what I'm saying? That that's Mars in the 12th because Mars in the 12th does not know who they are and the 12th house is a scary house. It's the house of the unknown. It's the house of death, suicide. Mars is 
you know, knives so these people can cut themselves, things like that, try crazy drugs, things like that, go on binges, disappear for days, come back and act like things are normal because they don't, there's really a lot of um, lost feeling, lost identity, fighting in the dark kind of thing, you know. So this is a very deep placement. I would definitely recommend solitude, retreats of silence and allowing yourself to just sit there in the darkness because you really need a lot of quiet and the world is loud. Okay, the world is really, really loud. There's a lot of thoughts. There's a lot of ideas out here. So you guys definitely need a lot of solitude to discover who you are. There definitely could be some behind the scenes abuse going on with this placement because Mars is, you know, fighting. This could be, you know, stalkers, uh, people obsessed, things like that. So this is that Mars placement here in the 12th house. This can also be spending a lot of times, you know, um, this could be quick stints in the hospital, stuff like that. So in the hospital, because you have accidents, you could definitely end up in the hospital with this. You can end up in jail with this placement because it's just like you get in a fight and for some reason you're the one that's caught, things like that. Because even though Mars, Mars is in the 12th, you know, Mars kind of shows a light in the 12th and Mars gets you into situations, but it's like you'll be caught, but then you'll go. It's like you'll be caught, but then you'll be let go. Stuff like that. It's it's a, it's a very strange thing. It's because it's life bringing you to the edge. You know, that's a lot of the feeling that you have here with Mars in the 12th. It's like you're at the edge and you're looking like, damn, do I jump or do I not jump? It's a, it's a very confusing placement. And what you have to do is a lot of self-discovery, self-journaling, self-identifying, and a lot of talks, you know, with people, with all kinds of people, with strangers, with people that you don't know, because... This is a house of dreams. You can have a lot of violent dreams, things like that, when and nightmares. And But don't be scared of those nightmares because they tell you a lot of things. They give you a lot of good information, okay? So I hope you guys like this video and let me know about your experience. If you want longer videos on each of Mars and the houses, I can definitely do that because there's just so much more to talk about. Mars is so important. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.